name's Shoestring Jane. Welcome back to my channel where I talk about all things thrifty, frugal and money saving. And I haven't been saving money, particularly during March. I've been spending money, but I've been trying to find secondhand bargains as much as possible. So today I thought I would show you some of my secondhand bargains. Here we go. So welcome to my boudoir where I'm going to show you my latest secondhand haul. So everything that I'm going to show you came from our hospice clearance shop and everything costs a pound. So sometimes it's really brilliant. You are lucky and I think I've been quite lucky today. Other times you go around and have a really good look through all the rails and don't really find anything. Since I went in last time and it has been a few months they have revamped the shop and reorganised it and spread it out a little bit. They used to have furniture in there as well and it was all a bit crammed. So they've taken the furniture out, they've put it in a separate shop up the road and now they've just got the rest of the clearance stuff. So it was so much easier to see what was there today. And I got some things for myself. I'm going on holiday soon and it's going to be hopefully sunny but not really, really hot. We're going to Greece. So... Um, I think we'll still need, you know, warmer things for the evening. So I thought I'll get myself a few little cardigans and things. That's what I was after. So I did manage to do that, but I haven't been buying a lot and doing any reselling really. So I thought maybe if I see something I didn't really think I would, found a couple of things. So I'm quite pleased really. So it all helps to keep the wolves from the door, do a little bit of reselling online from time to time. So I'll show you what I got anyway. Let's start with this pile here. So this is something I'll probably just sell this on Vinted actually, it doesn't fit me. Uh, it's Manta Ray, which was a Debenhams brand. I don't know if anyone's taken Manta Ray on actually. Um, I know there is Debenhams online, so maybe they have. It's just a little summer sort of tunic top. Well, no, it's a dress, it's a dress really. It's actually a knee length dress. It's only size 10 though, so no good for me. I quite like it actually, I like the colors, but it is, size 10 so yeah sadly not i'm too big for that but it's a nice cottony dress so that was a pound i'm going to say that was a pound to everything and this again it's too small for me i love the colors of it it's cos which is a, a good quite expensive brand i think and it's pure wool and it's a really lovely sort of autumnal colors i really like the colors and it's just a plain jumper um, I think that's really lovely. It's in really nice condition. But again, it's a size 10, so it doesn't fit me. I would have kept that because I think that's lovely. I really like the colours. I think Cos is quite a good brand, as they say. Remember, this is just this is the clearance stuff. So Justin's mum, I've been buying her curtains left, right and centre because her curtains in her house, I think she's had them all a long time and was looking to buy some new ones. And I said, well, just let me look in the charity shops first because you get a lot of good curtains in the charity shops. Um, and I've got her these ones. She likes this kind of country cottage look. And these are vintage. I don't know if you can see the pattern. They're vintage. They're in really, really nice condition. And I know they're vintage because they are made in Great Britain and we don't make anything here now. So, And they feel like they're cotton. Oh, they're polyester cotton and they're lined and they smell a little bit musty, like they could go through the washing machine, but they're very clean. Um, and they're funny because they charge you a pound a curtain <laughs> rather than two pounds for a pair of curtains, because you obviously want to keep them together. So sometimes they get lost. I found the pair, so that was good. So I think Justin's mum will be pleased with those. And another thing that I wouldn't probably wear this, but it does look really warm. It's Laura Ashley, but I think it's quite modern Laura Ashley. And it's a... Uh, a zip up jumper and it, I felt it and thought this has got a high wool content and when I looked at it it's 95% lamb's wool and it's got a kind of um, contrasting I don't know if you can see the colour in this light I'm in my own light like a claret coloured lining and it's a zip up and it's got pockets in it and it's even got a tissue in the pocket nice we'll get rid of that um so I mean, I don't think it's really my taste, but it's really nice quality, as I say. So, sorry to stand up. I've got you on landscape because that's what YouTube wants. 
So it's 95% lamb's wool, which I think would have been quite expensive to buy, wouldn't it? I don't know, I do quite like it. I might try that on actually, but if not, I'll stick that on my reselling pile. And then the last thing I got potentially to reset, re resell, I cannot speak, is this pair of Chelsea boots. I think they're very kind of shiny sort of leather. I've got a bit of a crease there, so I think I'd have to pad them out with something, see if I can get the shape back. But then by Loke, so Loke Shoemakers, I think they're made in England, aren't they, Loke? And they're all leather, like even the sole and the, not the actual heel, that's not leather, but the sole is leather. And this whole bit is leather here. And they're in quite good nick. Um, yes, they're only a size seven. I'm going to try them on actually to see if they're a woman's size seven or a men's size seven, because that's my size. It just says middle sex, or maybe that's the style made in England. Yeah, I think they're made in England, or is that? Yeah, made in England. So I think they're quite a good brand, as I say. So I looked on eBay and new ones were going for about 100, 120 pounds. These are obviously not new and they've got some signs of wear here. As I say, I think if I, if I kind of pad those out a bit, I'll get the shape back for a bit and give them a bit of a polish. But maybe I could get 30 or 40 pounds for those, which is, you know, for a pound, is that's brilliant, isn't it? Can't really go wrong with that. So anyway, I wasn't going to do any of that. I wasn't going to do reselling stuff Ooh, because I'd kind of gone off the boil. Every time I've gone anywhere to try and find anything to sell, I just, it's all been rubbish. I, even for myself, it's not been very good. Um, this room, as you can possibly just tell up there, really needs a lampshade. It's all very pink. And I went in and found this in the pound shop. So I'm going to get that put on the ceiling, but I won't stand on a chair because... I was standing on the chair to do some cleaning the other day and I fell off and it was because <laughs> I, I woke up really, really early and Justin was fast asleep, Archie was asleep, my daughter Izzy is here at the moment and she was asleep. It was about 20 to 7 on Saturday morning and I was standing on a chair doing some cleaning. Well, I was standing on my desk actually and then I st stepped off the desk onto the chair tipped it up and just fell backwards. And I literally fell backwards with a crash onto my sacrum, which actually is killing actually. It's got a lovely, beautiful bruise on my backside because that's where I landed. I've got a big scab on my elbow and a few bruises everywhere else. I was lucky I didn't knock myself out and smash my head against the door. So anyway, when I put this up, I will be more careful. But for a pound, gosh, it's brilliant. You can't really go wrong, can you? And then I got a few bits. I think most of these. Oh no, this. Oh, this is one for resale. I could not believe that I found this. I know I've picked these up at jumble sales before. It's a vintage Laura Ashley. I don't know if you can see that, a vintage Laura Ashley sailor dress, and it's a size twelve, which was a, I guess, a vintage size twelve. You can just about see it. It smells. A little musty like it really needs to go in the wash so that's what I will do with that but it these go for a lot of money um yeah, 50 quid up but some somebody's got one identical to this for 120 pounds on there which I think is probably being a bit optimistic but you know for a pound if I get if I turn that into 20 pounds it's it's a brilliant profit I'm absolutely delighted with that what a great find I can't believe that was in the clearance shop so yes, very pleased with that one. And then I've got a few bits for myself. And because I spend a lot of time just slobbing around the house in my jeans, I picked up a sweatshirt. It's nothing special, but you know, sweatshirt for a pound. It's not bad, is it? Nice blue sweatshirt, it's nice and soft actually. It's just next, next size medium. It's actually say on Vancouver. <laughs> I didn't even know what it said on it, Vancouver. It's a nice colour, I quite like that colour. So I'm quite pleased with that. I picked up this little cardigan from Marks and Spencers. It's a nice colour, it's a kind of, I don't know what you'd call this, a sort of burnt orange colour. It's only acrylic, I think. It's, oh, it's chilli, they call the colour. Uh, it's just acrylic, but it's just a quite a light, 
cardigan and I do have a sundress it's I've got this colour in it so I'm hoping that that will look quite nice I mean it all feels just too cold here at the moment for these quite thin cardigans it's just, it got nicer and sunnier and it's got really cold again and I've bought from Vinted I have bought some kind of light coloured trousers sometimes I'll dig those out as well because I'm doing a second hand video I'll dig out what I've bought from Vinted um, and I thought maybe a stripy jumper would go with it this is literally Primarni just Primark. It's just a, a stripy cardigan. It seemed in quite reasonable condition. So I thought I'd get that. And then because I was on a nautical stripy theme, there was another one right next to it. This is Warehouse. Um, but this one's a jumper. So just a little jumper. I think I'm um, a little bit of debobbling looking at the armpits. It's not too bad, but just a little under here. I've got a debobbler, so I'll get that off no problem. And that feels quite nice, but I think it's probably acrylic pretending to be something else. I think someone's taken off. Oh no, they haven't. Here you go. Viscose polyamide. So all very man-made, but yeah, that'll be quite nice. A nice light jumper. And then the last thing that I got from the One Pound Charity Shop, I really like red. And I, I don't wear red as much as I should, but I like this. I thought this would look nice with just uh, some trousers, just some maybe cut off trousers. That's really nice, isn't it? And that was, I don't know where that was from because somebody's cut the label off, but it's just a sort of jersey top, size 12, Roman, it's a Roman one. So yeah, so that's everything that I got from the One Pound Charity Shop. And I was impressed at how much they'd improved it. Um, I quite like having a rummage anyway, but it was so much easier to rummage today. And I've really gone off the boil with charity shops generally because I think I've moaned in previous videos, actually. The last few times I've got in, I haven't found anything. Everything's felt very worn out um, for the prices that was were being charged. In the, and obviously you can't go wrong in the one pound clearance shop, but some of the other shops, you know, they, they charge a lot. So... Um, I'd come out feeling quite disheartened really because I like buying secondhand for myself. I like encouraging the idea of a circular economy. I like things being used for the full extent of their life. I, I don't like fast fashion. And, you know, buying secondhand is my default position, not just to save money, but for the environment, really. I think we should use things and, you know, not be such a throwaway society. So, um, I do. I did get a bit disheartened because, as like I say, I just couldn't, couldn't find anything really for myself. So it's really pleased today. It was a really, really good charity shop haul from One Pound Charity Shop. I will show you a couple of things that I've also been buying from Vinted. Now, I, the doorbell has barely stopped this week because Izzy is here and she's ill. She's got glandular fe fever, bless her. You will have met Izzy in her previous videos with me. She's got glandular fever. She's feeling really, really under the weather. So she's sitting on vintage and she's spending small amounts of money and buying loads of stuff. But I joined in as well and I bought a few things just with my holiday in mind. So let me show you what I have bought this week from Vinted. So the first thing I got was a beach bag. I thought I haven't got a beach bag. I'd really like a beach bag for the summer. So I got this. It's um, I think it was River Island. No, New Look. You look, it just says très joli, my very good French accent. I'm not quite sure what these bits are for. Maybe they're to tie them together. I don't know. Um, but it's a nice big, quite clean beach bag and that cost me four pounds on Vinted. So that was a good buy. And that, I really love this dress. I thought, well, this is a light floaty dress, but it's, you know, it's got still got sleeves for a chillier evening. Um, so it's just got a jersey top. And then at the bottom, it's a kind of floaty animal print. Um, and it's actually, what do you call it? A midi. It's a midi. I'm just, just having you this way, you can't really see, can you? And appreciate it. Perhaps I'll come back a bit. Let's go back a little bit here. So you can see a bit better. You can see a little bit better. I really like this dress. I think it's lovely. Um, how much does that cost me? I think that costs something like £2.50. You do have to add postage, obviously, as well with uh, Vintage, but it didn't cost very much at all, and I do like it. And then I bought these, I think I've, 
can't remember if I've shown these. I don't think I have. I think I wrote them on my blog. Just a pair of walking sandals. These are Skechers sandals. And they're in good condition. And, you know, I do want some strappy sandals and I have got some on order. I ordered some last night from Vintage very cheaply, £4, I think. These ones were, I think these were eight. But I need good sandals for dog walking and just walking generally. And But starting off with, I might, it might be warm enough to wear them on holiday. Hopefully it will be. Um, but I needed some anyway because my others have just fallen apart. And Sketch is, is a good brand. So, you know, I don't mind picking those up second hand. I think they were £8, as I say. So that was those. And then these aren't, this work for my holiday, but just because I like, um, these are a bit grubby actually. I just like um, slumming around in tracky bottoms. I bought these, I bought these as part of a bundle actually. So I bought these tracky bottoms which I just you do yoga in and just kind of I'm comfortable at home with and I do like a bit of pink as you can probably tell I don't wear it much though but you can tell I do like pink from our bedroom so I bought those as part of a bundle there was four in the bundle the other thing was this because again I was thinking lightweight summery cardigans it's just a little hoodie with a zip but it's not too thick and I like the colour. I think that's quite a nice colour. And it's not a colour I wear very often. That's just next. I bought those two with um, two other things which were too big for me. I should always remember that I'm a, I'm a 12 in Marks and Spencers, not a 14. I'm a 14 in most things, but in Marks and Spencers, I'm a 12. So I ordered some cut off white trousers and some, what else did I order? Oh, some cut off trousers from Next neither of which fitted me actually. The next ones were slightly too tight and the Marks and Spencer's ones were just too big. So what I've done is I've listed both of those on Vinted. I sold the white ones almost immediately. Um, the other ones have been favorited by lots of people. So hopefully I'll sell those soon. I've got something else to show you as well. Let me get that. And these were the white cut off trousers. They look actually massive, but they really don't look massive on. They're really comfortable, nice high waisted which I like actually. They were just from, where are they from? Sheen originally. So, I mean, they're quite in quite good nick. I could not wear white trousers at home. I have two cats and a dog. I might get away with those on holiday. Let's hope so anyway. So yeah, so those are some of my secondhand bargains. The other thing I've been doing is looking on Facebook Marketplace because We've still got some things to do in this house and I don't want to spend a lot of money. So we did buy a cabinet from Ikea, which was new. I searched and searched the internet to see if I could buy something suitable for the kitchen that was Ikea. We've got a couple of uh, secondhand Ikea things in the bedroom, um, but couldn't find anything. Just couldn't find anything that was not really expensive or far away. So um, we did end up buying that new, which is unusual for us. But hopefully it will just help us with the kitchen storage it's a smaller kitchen than we had at our last house so we do need a little bit more storage in there um but the other thing i wanted was a mirror for the hall and mirrors are expensive aren't they i was looking nice mirrors are really expensive so i thought right facebook marketplace let's have a look and i found this mirror which i will insert in a minute And I also found some more curtains for Justin's mum, which were brand new in their packaging. The mirror was £10 and the curtains were £5. So bargain, she's already got them up at one of her windows, so she's pleased with those. So hopefully she'll be pleased with the ones that I got today in the £1 charity shop as well. So it's all secondhand this week, apart bar the uh, IKEA cabinet. So Justin's just put this IKEA unit together to, the idea is that we'll have this along this wall here, rather than the chair and all the junk that's there. And I'll, I'm going to paint all three of these, so the shelves, repaint the dresser and then paint this in kind of, kind of, soft pinks and greens. So I've just got to decide what I'm going to do. I've been looking at French chic paint again, which is what I have often used in my bedroom makeover. You may have seen that in the past. Um, I find it really nice. It goes on easily. It's quite expensive, but all paint's quite expensive. And I know I'm going to get a good result with that. So I've been looking at um, Nougat, Nugget, however you like to pronounce it, which is a very subtle pink. 
I think that would look nice. So I think I might do that pink, do that a soft sage green, which is kind of what it is, but maybe slightly softer. And um, I'm not sure whether to do two things pink or two things green. I don't, I've got to I just decide, just got to decide. So yes, we'll see. Bit of DIY coming up anyway. So this week and this month actually has been madly extravagant for me. I don't really spend so much normally, but I have kind of got to the point where I have a lot of things in my wardrobe, but I never wear them. I don't wear them. I think I've actually lost a bit of weight, which um, would be good normally, but it's because of my hypothyroidism, so not necessarily good. It doesn't mean I want to get rid of everything, but there's definitely items in my wardrobe and I don't have a lavish wardrobe, it's not huge, but there are items that I really never wear. Like I've, since I've moved here, I haven't worn them. Even before that, I haven't worn them. So really, truly, I think I'm gonna donate those and just get rid of them because there's no point in having a wardrobe full of clothes and you've still got nothing to wear, is there? So um, I am on the lookout now for just a few clothes myself, but I've bought, so I've done, I've done all right today. So. Um, I won't need to buy very much more at all now. So I think I could do with one pair of strappy sandals, which I've already bought and they're on the way. And maybe one more pair of cut off trousers. So um, that, that should do me really, that will do me. I do not wear shorts. I've got the skinniest legs in the world and I just don't wear shorts, but I wear cut off trousers or wear dresses and skirts. Um, and you know, I think we might get another hot summer this year. So it's as well to have a few bits in the wardrobe, isn't it? And if you're, you know, you're recycling them, reusing them. So it's a good thing. Anyway, so that's my secondhand haul and all of my buying for March. I don't think I'm going to do very much more. So what have you been buying? Have you got any good bargains lately? Do share them. If you want to come over to my secondhand and frugal life, that is my Facebook group. Um, we have loads of stuff going on over there with, where we love to share our secondhand bargains. So do pop over. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe so you know next time I am publishing a video. I'll see you then. Bye for now.